Um, hello. Uh, what is up, YouTube? Um, Steve here for a new video. Um, this one is... I'm actually recording this one very early. Um, because... Well, I'm recording it about a week early. Um, because this is actually going to be the, um... The one year, I guess, anniversary video, you could say, of, uh since I started making the series. And as you could tell the I don't know, on my end it looks like I'm running it through a fucking claymation filter. I don't I don't even know what you want I don't even know what you would call it, but but um it looks very choppy on my end. I don't know why, but but I, I was testing the camera earlier. The, this is a new computer. I was testing the cam I was testing the camera. It seems to be working okay. And as you can tell, you, and as you can see, you get a very wide look at my room now. Um, and so yeah, as you can see, it's uh, you can see the decals in much greater detail. <laughs> you can see that this is basically a very childish room, a very very childish room. Uh, you you can kind of get a better picture of that, <laughs> but uh, that's not that's not why I'm talking to you guys today. Um, I'm really here to talk about, like I said, the one year, um, I guess, anniversary of this untitled series, and it's it will it, it's it's still going to remain untitled. I'm not changing that. It's it's untitled for a reason. It's untitled because it's very personal. I've said this since the very first video. It's very personal. And it's very. It's not something you can easily categorize. Um. I don't th and I don't think this should be categorized. I don't think it should be limited to just one topic or just one facet of mental illness. Because there's a lot of things that I... Not, not a lot of things, but there's still some things that I haven't even talked about in these videos yet. And they're topics that I'm... N not that I'm holding out on them, but they're topics that I, I will cover eventually. Um, but, for, but for now, we're covering this. And I wanted a little extra time to work on this video, if only because I may need, I may edit it better than usual, or I may just not have time next week. I have time now, which I'm pretty happy about. So I'm working on this video, um, and we'll see what happens. Um, but I had I had an, an interesting idea for this particular video. Um, usually, I talk about mental illness, or I talk about something that deeply affects me. But today I wanted to talk about something a little meta, but no less important. And what do I mean by that? Well, the topic of this video is actually going to be making videos. Um, and, what do, and there's a reason why I'm going into all this. You know, it's not necessarily to talk about myself or stroke my ego. I, it's not, this is, that's never been the point of this, and it never should be the point of this. But, oh, excuse me, dear God, sorry. Um, but, I do think it's important that I talk about how this has affected me, and I want to encourage you, I'll get to this throughout the video, but I want to encourage you, even if it's not making videos, this may not be for everybody, but you may have a different outlet that works for you, that 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 helps you to let this stuff out if you're going through certain shit. So if you have a different outlet, I wanna encourage you to go for it. I want you I wanna encourage you, you know, just get get out there. Do what you gotta do. You know it may not it, it, it may not even be that personal. It may not be as personal as what I do, but it may be I don't know if it's making sense. It, maybe it'll make more sense throughout this video. <laughs> but uh, for now, let me just say, like, one year of making these videos, wow, I, um... Well, I, I want to go into, the, I guess, the story behind it. Um, and I've talked about this before, but I think it... I think it bears repeating. I think it's something that I should go into again. Um, but... I believe I, I started this last year, and it was a few months, well, obviously, it's a year, but it's a little before a year at this point, but if you're watching this, it's August 15th, so, yay, but, 
But yeah, I mean, it's last January was really when I got the idea for doing this. Last January, beginning of last year, um, I'd been struggling with depression for nine years at that point. Eight, about eight or nine years. I, 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 I don't think it was nine years just yet, but it was, it was, it was eight years is a long time to live with something like this. Um, and, it's, and it was, it's been incredibly difficult, because I'll go into this throughout the video, but, well, you know what, I'll just say it now. Throughout those eight years, up until that point, I felt like this was something I couldn't talk about. Depression, even Asperger's, I, I was very hesitant to talk about, because uh, people generally don't have a good grip on what that is. So, you know, and, um... But depression was really um, a big thing for me. I couldn't talk about it. I, I I had talked about it with a few people, some of whom I'm still very close with, some of whom don't ever want to talk to me again. And that was difficult um, because that sent a message to me that you know I'm taught I'm being open about this stuff with certain people, I'm getting close with them. And they suddenly don't want anything more to do with me. That 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 sends me the that it sends a message to me that you can't talk about this stuff. That this stuff's fucking forbidden, right? So I tried to hide it the best way I could. I and that's not easy to do because one way or another, this stuff comes out. It's you can't conceal it. You can't just run from it. You can't just hide from it. It doesn't work that way with depression it, one or mental illness in general. One way or another, this stuff comes out and it's it, you can't just run from it. So... Okay. So, yeah, I mean... I'm sorry, guys. I'm just getting flustered. But... Yeah, so, so that happened and... Then one day, I I happened um, to come across look one, one of Little Karibo's videos, and I I had been a fan of his for some time since the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh the Abridged series back in two thousand six. I'd been a fan of his videos for a very long time, and the interesting thing about Yu-Gi-Oh Abridged is that it was just a few years before that I had been really really into Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid, like really into it, and. So, he basically, he, he, turned, he turned the show into something that I can enjoy as, a, as an older person, as someone who had seen the show as a kid and can now enjoy it as an adult. I can enjoy it from a comedic standpoint. And I can understand some of these plot points, you know, without, you know, I'm trying to say, I already knew the plot, you know, he's just doing an abridged comedic version of it. So... I I have been a fan of his work for a very long time. Um, his his style of humor, his videos, and one day he did something very serious back in January of last year, I believe. Um, he started doing a series of videos called "We're Still Here," and that documented his depression and how hard it it's it is to to live with it and how and he 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 talks about different facets of it. He talks about different characteristics of it and how it affects him you know he copes with it and the premise is not that it's not that he's a psychologist it's not that he has all the answers he still always says and I'm going to tell you this too it's very important to, to seek help it's very important to do that I'm not I'm not going to have all the answers myself I barely understand this stuff to be brutally honest with you but I'm trying to do my part in helping somebody out there. And that was really that's really the point of what he does with his videos. He wants to pass along what he's gathering through this experience and use it to help other people who could very well be feeling the same way. And I saw what he was doing. And his advice Again, he's not a therapist, but his advice and just seeing how he was able to talk about how strong he was and how strong he still is, damn. 
I, I, en I, I envy that. He's, he, he's, he's so strong for being able to talk about this stuff. And I felt I needed to do something similar. I felt it couldn't hurt to, to pass along what I've gone through and to help somebody out there who could be feeling the same way. Not just with depression, though. Because it's not just depression that affects me. I, I have a lot of mental illnesses, whether I like it or not. And I, I don't... I, I suffer from a lot of things. I mean, it's, there's anxiety. There's some things I haven't talked about, like ADD yet. You know, I've talked about anger. I've talked about, I think, in a few videos. I've talked about. I've definitely talked about Asperger syndrome. I've definitely talked about. Um, I, don't know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I've still yet to talk to, to cover, but. But I feel that this was a step in the right direction, at least for me. And I hope it. And I hope this has been helping other people too. Even I know I'm not a little Karibo, but I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be either. But I felt it couldn't hurt for more stuff like this to be out there, and to show the people around me that it's okay. You can talk about this stuff. And um. And. It took a few months for me to gather the courage to do this. It took some time. Um, originally, this was going to be something I did a little later. I ha I ha I haven't. I was going to work on another YouTube series before this, actually, video game series, which I'm still, as of right now, still currently in the planning phases on because I was going to do it with a very close friend of mine who unfortunately can't be part of the project right now. So I'm do I'm going to be doing it with another very close friend of mine, and we're we're going to try to we're, we're going to try to mesh our ideas. We're going to try to do something, um, and it's going to be very different than this, of course. But I wanted to. That was originally why I, I really wanted to get started on YouTube, um, and um, that was the. I don't, I don't know, I feel like something's up here, I'm sorry guys, I get distracted. ADD, but... Hold on a sec guys, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, sorry about that guys. Um, I may have to edit this a little bit. I kinda got, uh... Kinda had to take care of something, but, um, but yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, uh... I think I was just about to talk about, um... I think I was just about to talk about, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, I think I was talking about my, my, my other YouTube idea, which we will, we will, we will get around to it. We're, we're, we're still working on it. Um, I'm still working on it. I haven't given up on it. But, uh, that's, that's going to be probably a little, it's going to take a little more time. Hopefully next year we can get up and running. But we'll see. Um, in the meantime, I'm very happy to be doing this. You know, I, the, the, I, I figured, you know what? Instead of doing the video game series first, why don't I start off? Why, why don't I just get this done already? You know, it's it's the only one telling me not to do it is myself. You know, I I can't. I don't know. I had concerns about doing two series at the same time. I was giving myself these bullshit excuses. And one day I kind of just said, you know what, I want to start on this already. And it took a few months to gain that courage, but I did it. And this is really what I wanted to go into. Um, when I first uh, worked on this, when I first started, the, when I first did the... the um, the very first video last year. Um, so I'll, I'll get back to that later. Sorry, guys. Um, I saw that I got a very incredible response. Not necessarily from YouTube at first. But that changed with time. Um, you know, at first the... <laughs> and they still are, but at first the YouTube views were very, very low. And that was discouraging. 
N it's nobody's fault. It was just discouraging because I felt like I wasn't doing enough for people. And... So that was very discouraging, but... But what really... Uh, if I'm brutally honest, if what really motivated me to keep going forward with this was the support I got um, on social media from it. Which was very strange. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I, I, I don't mean that to sound negative. It's just, it's strange. What I mean by strange is that people generally don't like hearing about stuff like this on social media. You're supposed to only show the positive things. You're supposed to pretend everything's hunky-dory in the world. And it's fake. It's very fake. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's... That's why when you when someone posts something very negative sounding, so just some stuff like that in general, pe people don't they'll delete that person. A lot of people will delete you on social media if you talk about depression or you talk about something even hinting at it, and that's scary. It's scary that we live in a world that does that to people, but and it is bullshit because. Life's not just peaches and roses, guys. I mean, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not talking to, to 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 my usual viewers. I'm talk. I'm saying if you think that, if you're one of those people right now, who gets who doesn't want to deal with people who are depressed or unhappy, you gotta understand that life is ups and downs, and you don't give up on the person. No matter what, you don't do that. That that that's not the way things are supposed to work. True friends, true partners, they stick to each other no matter what. They stick together no matter what. And they don't let stuff like this get in the way. They try to understand each other. Okay, That's something to keep in mind. But I'm not going to speak to those people right now. I'm just going to say... I'm, I'm just going to keep going with this, that I don't want to waste my energy on people who don't want to understand this stuff. I'm sorry, guys. I, I've, I've had it with those people, but... But yeah, it was just, it was just a shock to me. Um, I remember, I, I've talked about this for a little bit, but it was just a shock to me to see that kind of... And it went, it, it went on with the, with the next few videos. Eventually, I think, uh, the part of my social media friends uh, stopped watching, and that's okay. You know, it's completely okay. You just it, it happens, but nothing lasts forever. But um, but at least for those first few weeks, those first few days, it was unfathomable. Um, it was really incredible. I can't even begin to say uh, how great of a feeling it was to see the reactions from everybody to to see the words to, to get all these su superlatives <laughs> to get all, to gather all this praise. I mean, I, I never expected it in a million years. Um, I needed that. I did need that. Because I was feeling very down on myself at the time. And I needed to see that at that moment. That's not what everyone else was seeing at all. I felt like I was this terrible person. And there were people saying all these great things to me. And granted, granted that's that shouldn't be how I view myself. It's just my, my, the way I view myself isn't necessarily... Um, and this goes for anybody. The, the way you view yourself shouldn't necessarily be fueled by how others see you. But I needed to see that that that's not what everyone else... What I was seeing in myself wasn't what everyone else was seeing. Um, and that, if I didn't get that, I don't know if I would have been motivated to keep moving forward with this. I couldn't believe it. And I'm not saying this to brag, I'm saying this because 
because I'm, I'm trying to prove a point. I, I, I can't even begin to talk about it. I, I, I get myself too flustered, but... And this is ultimately, it should be ultimately kind of a celebration video. So I'm not going to get myself flustered today. But, uh, but it was great to see that kind of, to, to see the response from everybody and see that I had their support and their friendship and that a lot of people who I thought were long gone came back. And I needed that. I needed that. I needed that chance. I needed it. In a selfish way, I needed it. And... That wasn't my goal at all, but to get it, to get that response was, I still can't believe it. it it's still something that, I don't know, I, I don't know, I, 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 it felt like a fairy tale. But the point that I'm really trying to make, I know I'm, I know I'm using all these uh, descriptions, but I'm not really going to exactly what people said or, you know, because that's not really what's important right now. Um, the point that I really want to make to you with this video, I've been doing this for a year now. Okay. And I want to tell you that this has been an outlet for me. Whether I want to admit that or not, it's, 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 it is an outlet for me. It is something that helps me to let a lot of this stuff out. and It's therapeutic. It helps me to be open rather than to hide everything, which was difficult to do for the eight to nine years prior to doing this. And then when you don't say anything, people assume. They assume it's something much worse. They assume it's something much greater. And I feel like I put people through that. Some kind of fucked up guessing game. But there's a reason why I'm telling you all this. Maybe you have an outlet. Maybe it's creative. Maybe it's being open in a different way. Maybe it's writing. Um, if you have an outlet that helps you to get this stuff out there. To get this stuff off your chest, even if it's not just necessarily being open, maybe it's creative, or maybe it is being open. Maybe maybe you want to write about your experiences. Maybe you want to do something similar to what I'm doing. Maybe you just I don't know. I I, I don't know. Th th this is a question that really only you can answer. But I want to encourage you. Maybe it is doing this. Uh, maybe you want to do something similar, and I encourage that if it, if you feel it's the right decision. For you, because everyone is going to have a different outlet. Everyone's going to have a different way of trying to, to cope and trying to get their negative energy out. But I want to encourage you to do that. That's really why I'm making this video. It's about the, this. The topic of this video is making videos. It's a meta topic, but it's important. You, you, whatever you're going through, it may not be depression. It may not even be anything I talk about. But. You, I'm here to tell you today to do what's going to make you happy and what's going to help you relieve yourself of these demons that, and relieve yourself of ultimately of this mental illness, whatever it may be. Maybe it's something I talk about. Maybe, it, maybe, maybe it's something completely different, and that's okay. But I want to encourage you to do something that's going to help you. And. You shouldn't let anyone stop you. You may not get the positive response that I've gotten myself, but I want to tell you. I want to tell you ultimately that. How do I word this? It's not that. It's not that I don't know what to tell you. It's just I'm trying to think of how to word it. Um, you shouldn't let anyone discourage you. Really, I mean, even if you don't get an enthusiastic response, that's fine. If you feel, if you like what you're doing, if you believe in it, just like I believe in this, go for it. Do it. And don't let anyone stop you. I'm not going to stop you. I know maybe this, maybe I've said this kind of stuff before, but this is very important. And I want you to be able to look back. Whenever you start... 
whenever you think of uh, whatever project you want to do, maybe it's not even a project, maybe, but maybe it's an occupation, whatever. Whenever you get started on your journey, I want you to be able to look. I want you to be able to look back on a year, or for maybe even further down the line or sooner down the line, and say, you know what, I this is helping me. I feel better, and I feel like I'm doing something good for this world, even if it's just for yourself. Yeah. You, you're a part of this world. So, anyway, I don't know. I guess that's all I could really uh, say for this particular video. But I want to thank you for watching, as always. Um, if you've been watching since the very beginning, I really want to thank you for that. It's I I don't I'm not gonna stop here. I'm going to keep doing, I hope, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this, i got to be honest. But I plan to keep doing this for as long as I can. I hope to be doing this even another year from now. Maybe more, maybe any, maybe the year after that. Maybe in, maybe even the year after that, you know. Who knows, right? Who knows anything, but I, I hope to keep doing this for a very long time. And... And I want to thank I want to thank everybody who gave me their support, whether you're whether you're on social media or YouTube. Um, there's a reason why I haven't stopped, and why I don't plan to stop. You're the reason why I keep fighting. So that's my video. Um, kind of I don't know if this was the best one. Well, I could always record it again. I don't know. Or I did. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, uh, but thank you for watching, guys. I I hope I've helped you throughout this past year. Yeah, I hope I've done something good. But we'll see. Alright, so thank you for watching, guys. It's about that time. Alright, take care, guys. Be good. Alright? Feel better if... Feel better, you know. Hope you're going to be okay. I hope you're going to have a great day. Okay. Here's to another year of doing this. <laughs> Here's to August 15, I guess 2017. Um, and hopefully the year after that. And the year after that. And just on and on. Alright, thanks guys. Alright, take care.